Lisa. Look, look, where did you rush off to? Where did you go? Let's hear you dig your way out of this one, Teresita. Well, you must have wondered why I rushed out of here the way I did. Oh, we all had our theories. I wasn't sure, but I knew for one thing that you didn't run away because you had to give back the engagement ring. Run away from you? Is that what they told you? Admit it, Teresa. You were so stricken at having to give up your little sliver of the crane pie, you couldn't stand it. That's why you tore out of here like a dog who'd sent it a bigger bone. <laughs> yes, once you found out that your little Cinderella story wasn't going to have a fairy tale ending, you just left Ethan flat. I would never do that. I don't care about the crane jewels or the crane money or any of it. If anyone here believes that, I have a bridge to sell them. Excuse me, Mr. Crane, but you do not know anything about anything. I have something much, much more precious than any jewelry the Crane money can buy. I have Ethan's love. Besides, someday Ethan is going to buy me another ring. One I will love even more because he earned it with his own money. He doesn't need the crane name behind him to go as far as he wants. We are going to make every dream we ever had together come true. Oh, please, we all saw you dash out of here the moment you realized Ethan was virtually penniless. Well, it's true, I did. See? She admits it. The second I realized that Ethan didn't have any money of his own, I knew what I had to do. Teresa, I don't understand. For you. What is it? Let me guess. It's a bill for the ring she had to give back. No. Oh. It's for Ethan's future. Teresa, what's this? It's my savings. And the reason I ran out was to get to the bank before it closed. It's yours. I can't believe you did this. Well, I know it's not much. No, I can't accept this, Teresa. I can't take your money. Ethan, it is not my money anymore. It's our money. Money to help you start over in your new life, the one that we're going to have together. Now, I know it's probably not enough to do much, but it was the only way I could think to show you that I will be with you, Ethan, every step of the way. No matter what's happened, we will get through this together. You knocked me out, you know that? I'm going to be sick. I, I still want to give you the things you deserve, the things I want to give you. Like an engagement ring. I don't care. No, but I do. I promise, I'll make this up to you. Ethan, I can wait forever, as long as I'm with you. Uh, I'm happy to hear that, Teresa, because you're never going to see this ring again. Oh, just ignore him, Teresa. I, for one, am grateful that my son has someone like you in his life. So what if he never heads up Crane Industries? At least he'll be with someone who adores him for all of the right reasons. Oh, how I wish I'd made that choice for myself. I just, I know the two of you are going to be so happy. So do I. And the sooner we get out of here, the sooner we can start. Sheridan? Teresa and I have some important news to tell you. So that's your big news. Well, maybe it doesn't sound like much to you, but it means everything to me. In case I haven't told you lately, I love your sister with my whole heart. I love you too, Ethan. And that's why it wasn't a big deal for me to close out my savings account and give you my money. So what if we start off with next to nothing? As long as we're together, there'll be no stopping us. Well, you don't have to convince me. <laughs> I think you're perfect together. Only now, 
that Teresa made this incredible gesture by giving me all her savings. I want to do something for her. Now, what do you think I can do to prove that I want to spend the rest of my life with you? Well, there is one thing I can think of. Name it. Why wait to get married? Why not do it right away? Are you serious? I'd say she is. No. Mm -hmm.